This is Dave out in Western Pennsylvania, and this will be virtual organic lab experiment number three, or video number three. So uh, the student license is $25 a year annually, and I think, in, from my opinion, it's uh, very well worth it, both for remote education and in uh, perhaps a hybrid scenario with conventional organic uh, one laboratory uh, using this as a tutorial before heading into the lab. In any event, this summer, because of the coronavirus um, pandemic, uh, I will be uh, offering the Organic One Lab uh, totally online, remote uh, school policy. I'm a chemistry professor in Western Pennsylvania. In any event, let's get down to business. You could do qualitative analysis, organic analysis, or you could do synthesis. And I'm going to go up in the upper left corner. It'll take a moment to load. You can use it with Mac or Windows. Uh, chemis uh, chemistry professors at BYU developed this software going back to about 2002, and uh, I think very highly of it. Well, anyway, let's do an alcohol oxidation. So when you put the mouse, the cursor over that, you get your choice of alcohols. And um, what I will do uh, when you click on that, there will be materials put on the shelf. Let me take uh, benzyl alcohol, double click. You can use the syringe. I think I have a much easier time if I just double click. Now, in the round bottom flask right now, we have the benzyl alcohol. Now, we have to think what we're going to do with this. What type of oxidation are we going to do? Well, I'm going to subject this primary alcohol, the benzylic alcohol, to uh, a one-stage oxidation with PCC, pyridinium chloral which you know uh, stops on a dime at the aldehyde stage, one stage oxidation. So I'm going to also put uh, ether solvent. You wouldn't put ethanol because that'll get oxidized. So I uh, am going to double click on ether and I have solvent and uh, benzyl alcohol. Now we proceed to drag, L drag uh, the round bottom to the stir plate. And don't forget to add the reagent PCC. Double click on the blackboard, you see the three the oxidizing agent, uh, the substrate, and the solvent. And uh, how are we going to do it? Well, I'm going to heat this up. You could use an ice bath and stir for a longer period of time. And they are using reaction rate, specific rate constants for reactions that have been actually done experimentally. Uh, it's an interesting feature of this program, which I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, Heating mantle, reflux condenser, don't forget your nitrogen gas, double click. We're ready to go. Note the time on the clock. Note the time on the clock and we'll get started. I'm going to do a TLC and uh, you're already starting to see action. I'm going to save this. It will go into the notebook and we'll worry about that later. Now I would put time zero at 118. Of course, a student would put the title uh, of the uh, experiment. What's the purpose of the experiment? And uh, uh, we'll put this down as time zero. That clock will change. And uh, 118. Okay, we saved that. The book will close, but you can open it at any time. Okay, I'll exit out. And uh, let's go up 10. See, it just went to 119. Let me go up 10 minutes. Let's check the TLC. Oh, we're getting reaction. I'll save it. You'll start to see color change in the pot, too. Pretty neat. Let's go up 10 minutes. Do you see what's up there on the blackboard? Your substrate, your solvent, the pyridinium chlorochromate. The benzaldehyde, one stage oxidation product, and pyridine is there. Uh, we'll uh, clean this up with the workup. We're up to 134 now. Let's do a TLC. It's coming along pretty good. Now, if you go ahead too fast, the glassware will explode. In other words, they don't want you trying to, well, let me get the experiment done in two minutes, and I'm, they don't want you to do that. And if you go too fast, You'll explode the glassware and have to start over. Now, I'll cautiously go up another 10 minutes. 
check the TLC of the reaction. All right, we're still okay. I'll go ahead 20 minutes. Coming along, I'll save it. Click OK. We still have alcohol there. I'll go ahead 10 minutes. Greatly diminished. Another 10 minutes. And as I said, you can let this go. If you put it in an ice bath, then it might take you a few hours. And uh, just a trace of starting material is left. I'll go up 10 minutes. And just the trace. What I will do for purposes of this video, I'll save that. I will then go to workup. So we're going to click on, uh, double click on the SEP funnel. And right now you have these materials in that product mixture. Now we're going to add aqueous acid because we want to get that pyridine out of there. So here are the workup materials. I'll use aqueous acid, double click. And then the bottom layer has uh, pyridinium chlorochromate, pyridinium chloride, water, uh, obnoxious waste to dispose of safely. And the top layer has the benzyl alcohol, benzaldehyde, and the solvent. What I will do now is um, bring the contents, the upper layer, to the cork ring. Presume that we dried this, bring it back to the plate, set funnel back on the rack, click distillation, nitrogen gas penetrating the rubber septum, and we're ready to start. Now we're going to do a distillation. Right now in the pot, we have benzaldehyde and some benzyl alcohol. And uh, in the collection flask, nothing so far because the temperature, see, is 40 degrees. Let me go up. And now we're at 179. Now what's coming over? Well, the aldehyde, all things being equal with molar mass being similar, the aldehyde can't hydrogen bond. It'll be a lower boiler. The benzyl alcohol is uh, able to hydrogen bond, should be expected to be a higher boiler. Now, in the collection flask, see the benzaldehyde? And in the pot, you have your benzaldehyde benzyl alcohol. So we're distilling over that benzaldehyde at 179 degrees. All right, now watch what I'll do for purposes of this uh, video. I will terminate the reaction by bringing the collection flask over to the cork ring. And what we have in there is the benzaldehyde and the alcohol would be in the pot with the uh, benzaldehyde. Now, what I will do at this point is uh, an FTIR. I'm going to L drag that over. There is your benzaldehyde with the uh, carbonyl stretch. And the, the stretch is over there, characteristic of the CH of the aldehyde to the right of 3,000 in the infrared. And I could save that. Then click OK. And uh, we can also do a mass spec, fragmentation pattern, molecular ion, base peak. I'll click OK, save, OK. You can do proton C13. Let me click the button. And we'll go to uh, C13. You click on the little board there, not the button. C13. And uh, let's get us C13. There's your uh, aldehyde carbon down there. A little below 200 ppm and your aromatics. Huh? So I'll save that and click OK. And... Uh, that will uh, just about do it. Now, when you're doing a reaction, you can always click on this for help when you're first getting started, before you do the reaction. And uh, here's your lab uh, notebook where we have recorded all the information. You could put notes and observations, and uh, it's pretty good for a tutorial, particularly when you are first studying organic. Organic, in my estimation, organic chem is really introduction to molecular science here in the 21st century. And it's very different from general chem. You're making molecules. You're synthesizing. And when you go in the organic lab, it's very, very different. And generally, reduced numbers 
as compared to when you took general chem where there were probably larger numbers of students and you had to wait forever to get to a, a balance, for example. But this is an excellent program. And as I said, $25 a year uh, licensing fee is well worth it. You can do structured determination. I'll do that in, in another video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, you know how to reach me uh, here at YouTube land. Bye for now. Now, when you go to exit, just click there. Then go up here to the right, exit. Uh, I didn't save the notebook, but it would be saved to the desktop with my Mac. I'll click OK. And then up here, there's the manufacturer, the software licensing company, Beyond Lab Z, L A B Z, Beyond Lab Z. As I said, written by uh, chemistry professors at Brigham Young University. And uh, then to X out, just click on this. This is how I do it with the Mac. Alrighty.